What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg Wave. Uh, if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you want to hear more, subscribe. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys today about the uh, Lyft Express Drive rental program. Uh, I've touched on this a little bit before, but I wanted to do like a pros and cons video. I'm going to say real quick, Uber, I believe, has a rental program. I haven't done it yet, so I'm not going to say anything about that. But let me know in the comments what you guys think if you have used the um, Uber's rental program. Because if I hear some good feedback, I might switch. Um, so I'm going to give you guys the pros and cons real quick of the Lyft Express Drive Rental Program. So one of the biggest pros, and this is just almost the reason I think you just should do it, is that you're not putting any of this mileage on your vehicle. You're putting it on a rental and they have to deal with the long-term effects of it. Your car stays nice and shiny and it works fine and you don't have to use their vehicle, or you don't have to use your vehicle. It's just all around great. Um, another great benefit is all your maintenance is taken care of. Oil changes, tires, brakes, just about anything you can think of. Um, they are partnered with Pet Boys and you can go, well, in my area, might be a different area or different somewhere else. So I'm not gonna say that, but for where I'm at, we're partnered with Pet Boys. Anytime something's up with this little car right here, I can take it into any Pet Boys. They'll do an oil change, brakes, tires, and they even like inspect the whole car, even if there's stuff you don't know about, and they take care of it. And the nice part is they have the incentive to do that because it's their vehicle. So they're not trying to just get you in and out with your little oil change. You know, they're trying to do everything they can for the car to keep it running well. So that. I mean, those two first reasons for me are enough <clears throat> because like I've said in a lot of other videos, it's the long-term effects of Uber, and, uh, of Uber and Lyft driving in your car that are bad, that make it almost not worth it. So um, those are two of the biggest reasons that I think it is worth it. Um, also, you know, if you don't have a nicer car, you know, you can generally get a pretty decent car. Like right now I have a 2018 Kia Soul. And it's got a lot of bells and whistles. It's got a nice, you know, computer screen on the front with <clears throat> Apple CarPlay and stuff like that. So I, I've really enjoyed this vehicle personally. I did have a Chevy Malibu before that I kind of hated. <laughs> but this uh, Kia Soul, this, this little square has been a decent, decent whip for me. Um, so those are the two biggest reasons and to be honest they're probably the two only reasons but they're two really really good reasons so now i'm going to go into some of the reasons why you shouldn't um you only get paid about i think it's like 45 cents a mile versus i think 70 or 75 cents a mile if you drive your own vehicle so that's gonna feel like a sham um i won't lie to you guys it's it's gonna feel like you're getting really hosed but the reason why it still works out for me is I still rely heavily on tip money so tip money they obviously can't do anything about um, that's where I feel like at the end of the day my rides really make sense um, you can still make a decent amount off just regular rides but it's just not as good as it would be driving your own vehicle um, and you do make even less on long distance rides. That's another reason it does suck. I think you make 31 cents a mile on long distance rides and that's a recent change. They changed that like probably a month ago, a month and a half ago, something like that, give or take. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys did watch my video on how it works, it's generally 260 a week, depending on what area, you, I know in other markets it's cheaper or it's more, but here it's 260 a week and basically through different bonuses they give you throughout the week which they're the same bonuses each week i shouldn't say different so through the bonuses they give you throughout the week you have the chance to make about 150 of that back so or 140 i think basically you can get the cost down to where it's only about 115 a week for me here now 115 a week is a pretty good deal for a car that comes with insurance, commercial insurance included, uh, the vehicle, obviously, 
as well as all the maintenance. So to put in perspective for you guys, I pay over 115 a week for my personal vehicle with my personal insurance, and that's not even including maintenance I do. So that's that's a big reason to take this into consideration is that in general it's it's going to be cheaper than what a car payment with insurance and maintenance would be per week. Um, this is a really, really good option if your car's in the shop for like two weeks or something like that. Um, even if you're not an Uber and Lyft driver, if you stumbled upon this video, this is something to look into. You know, if you get in an accident, your car's getting worked on for two weeks, your insurance doesn't give you a rental, uh, look into this option because you're talking 115 bucks a week. Obviously, if you're working a full-time job, you're literally not going to get those rental bonuses. There's just not a chance you will because they do take a lot of driving. But you could hit one and pay 200 a week. You know, um, generally, if you're able to do just weekends, you could probably hit the first, maybe even the second bonus if you really hustle. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say. Um, one, oh, one other thing. Now, this is something that someone said to me in the comments on the last video. I can't personally say how true this is, but I believe you're able to write off the rental cost. If that is true, um, which I'm going to be looking into, that's a really, really good, another really good reason behind this. But yeah, guys, the main reasons I would say to consider this is like I was saying, you know, you're in a car accident, you don't have your own vehicle for a week or two. Um, you know, for me, I just, I still like it better than putting the mileage on my vehicle. I, for, for me, I feel like it makes more sense just as a part-time driver I'm really just looking to make a few hundred bucks a week or something like that. So I, I like doing it this way. It's not for everyone, you know, and maybe maybe in your market, you really don't put that many miles on your car. If that's the case, then don't do this. It doesn't make sense, you know, because it is 115 bucks each week that you could be keeping. You know, you're talking almost $500 a month. So that is that is absolutely something to consider, you know. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's my video on the express rental drive. Um, like I said, Ubers, I can't speak for, but keep killing it out there, guys. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get some more content. I'm going to be coming back with another video for you guys really soon. See you later, guys.